Sarah. Yes. Good to see you. Susie, good to see you. Episode 212. 212. Palindrome. 212. Um, I'm not rhyming about it. It's 212. <laughs> Just singing about it. Uh, hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. It's nice to have you here at my I'm home. I'm a little sniffly. So I think it's everyone. the changing of the uh, seasons. Yeah, is it allergies though or is it? Oh, it's allergies. It's oh, allergy okay. season. Seasonal allergies. Seasonal allergies. Yeah, everybody is sniffling. My son refuses to use a Kleenex as, oh my you know, every kid is... I took him to school this morning and I'm like, what is on your sleeve? Oh. Boogers? See, I told you, I, but I told you they are, <laughs> are everywhere. everywhere. And oh my God, I'm a contributor now though, too, because I'm also blowing my nose yeah. all the time. I mean, it's going in tissue, but the tissue is going everywhere. <laughs> well, you know how at the beginning of the year, the school makes you buy all those boxes of tissues. Now I get it, but he's not using them anyway. Oh he's just my using God. my shirts that just I buy. him sleeves. God bless the youth oh of America. Oh my God, that's so funny. You know what? I've loaded every single corner of my house with tissues now. Like there's tissues in all the glove boxes and all the cars. Huh. All the cars. There's two. I mean, You're prepared. Yeah, because nobody will be sniffling on my watch. I wanted to kick things off here with uh, a new product I saw. What? It's hilarious. Oh, yes. Yes, I love it. And I wanted... <laughs> it's like the family clock. Yeah. And I want to know oh, what God. your oh, thoughts God. are. Yes, I love when you want to know my thoughts. It's called Laurels. That's the brand. Okay. I should guess. Okay. <laughs> Laurels. It's is. spelled L O R A L S, not like the name of okay. the flower. Okay. L O R A L S. Is it a kind of feminine hygiene product? Kind of. Oh my gosh. It's something for deodorant. <laughs> No. Kind of. Oh, kind of. It's something with scents. Oh, I thought you were going to say sex. No. Is it something with sex? Yes! Oh. <laughs> it is these oh. latex panties. Okay. Okay. Nope. That you're supposed to wear. What? Okay. During oral sex oh. if you're feeling embarrassed about the smell or fluids of your vagina. So really it's just an upgraded... Dental dam. What is it? I oh know my the God. name, but what is That's a dental right. dam? Can you describe you it? You were not in the lesbian community. Oh, it's for lesbians? Well, no, I mean, but it's like more free. Well. Tell me. <laughs> they're more interested in going down on other people. So if somebody had a flare up or some sort of STD or something like that, you can yeah. still have a sex life. That's very important. Okay, in okay. More, back up, okay, back up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you're telling me a dental dam protects. Who wears it? It goes in between. It's pretty much like cell- cellophane. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like a piece of plastic. I'll be or honest. Something. I've never actually used one. Okay. I love how you were like, be, you were really opening up well, about yeah, that. I, I just, <laughs> I'm going to be honest here. <laughs> yeah. I haven't used, I so have it myself, it's a but piece I've opened of it and I've, you know, com, like, you know, that played with it. a person puts between yes. their mouth yes. and, and someone else's vagina. Yes. That protects whom? Uh, the liquor of the vagina. The mouth. The mouth. From an STD. Yeah. Okay, it's like so a it's condom. like you're right. It is like a dental dam, I know. but <laughs> underpants. I know. It's a more convenient dental dam. It doesn't. It just doesn't look like self. Like like is is a dental dam clear? Yeah, these aren't. They're, they're black. La- they're oh oh. You know what? Oh, is that sexier? like if you're worried about the way your vagina looks, smells, or tastes? You yeah, because looks on these and pants. smells is probably the same <laughs> as the clear one. Okay, I mean, sorry, looks. No, no, sorry. Taste and and smells, but not looks. It's like putting your vagina behind a curtain. Yeah, that I don't like. I don't like any of it. Should they? What color do you want it to be? Well, no, it's necessary for some people. Okay, they were if saying you, the way they were marketing it wasn't about STDs. It was about. Do you feel like embarrassed? That I'm not for. Right. It was about shame. That is and not like, okay. Did you shower recently? You know, like it should if, be about sexual health. If you want, oh, a, did you shower recently? That's oh, in what? the commercial. I didn't shower, but I just so happened to have my latex underwear. <laughs> Could, didn't find time to hop in the bath for a little scrub down, but I sure had time to pack the essentials. First of all, 
<laughs> it's getting funny to me when I imagine what our teaser is going to be that, that we make with the videos and the images, because oh, obviously this is going to be one. <laughs> Second of all, there, okay, in the commercial, the woman is at her own home. And she really wants to be gone down on. <laughs> but then she reflects on, I didn't take a shower this morning, and then I went to Soul Cycle. No. Yes. Why is she? G- but her boyfriend or whoever is still super horny for her. And this is so. <laughs> and he can't stand a little female stench. That's so what I'm wondering. Hmm. And maybe just pop in the shower real quick. Yeah, turn that into foreplay. Or, What's the or by yourself? Here's the deal. If you have enough time to go down on me, you have enough time to let me freshen up for 30 seconds before or join me in the shower. Actually, don't do that because I don't like that. Maybe, though, what that. it really Ugh. is is to protect from what you're saying. It they just can't is. say that in the ad because that's not sexy. Yeah. But that's more marketable. Is it? How many people have these STDs? I don't know. How many people have herpes? What's the general population? I don't know. I don't know either. Do you think like 20%? No, not that many. They Maybe. seem to be a lot of cold sores it's out there. Like, no, that's different. Her simplex one or simplex two. It's different, but not, not really. Not. Cause you can give it to yes. like, I, if I knock have, on wood, I've never me ever had one on anywhere. <laughs> even my lip. Anywhere. I haven't even had no, a cold neither. sore, but I hear babies get them a lot because people kiss babies. Ew. Kiss. Yeah. I saw this whole thing on it. Uh, You're kidding me. I don't know if it's just an internet meme, but I totally did. Hold everything. Yeah. Put a pin in that. Okay. Are you familiar with the ultra-Orthodox Judaism tradition where they do the circumcision and then the rabbi sucks the blood off? Yes, I have heard this. I have heard this. And how? (gasps) No! A rabbi with a herpes gives it to... No, But it's not funny because the baby died. Okay. Yeah, that one is super dark. Oh my god, the baby got genital herpes and died. Yeah. Dude. B- dude. That's fucked up. It really is. And the fact that it's I believe it's still legal to do. <sighs> I will have to check on that. Dude. They should get What do you test the rabbi before? They just should probably let go of this tradition is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Because it's no, no Yeah, good. I'm kind of anti-circumcision, but. Well, yeah, that, me too. I'm going to lose that battle when the day finally comes. Though. Yeah, because I'm thinking about converting to Judaism, true story. And Adam was like, oh, no. No. Because he's he, British. <laughs> so he would, he was like. Uh, so then they got to do the it later depends. in life. Like if you'd go for all. Orthodox, which oh, yeah, I would never do, do that. that. Yeah, could you imagine? What I'm looking orthodox, for like is culturally. I want to be culturally Jewish. <laughs> Can you convert to that? <laughs> yeah, I get cultural. Anyway, I'm sorry I hijacked it with this circumcision thing, but uh, yeah, the dental dam yeah. laurel laurels. It's I'll they should come in other newsletter. color. Black seems like maybe they do like a they... black bar, like your your own. Um, you know, the black bar that's over nude. Yes. Like when you're naked in a TV show yeah, and they put a little black bar over you. I've seen your work. Sarah. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. Does this not ring a bell, Susie? It's yeah, like well, is just... there a word for that? what that thing is? The black bar? Oh. Like they oh should my have God. a word that, for it. There should be a word. Yeah. <gasps> if there isn't, let's come up with one. <laughs> we'll put that on our to-do list. Yeah. I mean, that'd be great is like you coined the term. Yeah. Because you're the first person to ever say it, then we'd be in the dictionary. <gasps> Guys, if you have any ideas on what that black bar should be called, send yeah. them our way. Yeah, so that I could then tell them, so that I can then get credit for it. <laughs> um, I don't know who they are. Webster and Miriam? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> I'll tell you, I want to get credit for is if any of you people um, in our audience have like met on eHarmony because of us. Oh my God, yes. I want to know about it so that we can take credit for that. I've been reading all these success stories. It is freaking adorable. Tell me. You know, like Lisa and Mark here. What? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Like they signed up and like they gave it a try and then they, he didn't think he stood a chance. So he only winked at me, which I guess is like a feature. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, you get to wink. 
Oh my god! I just think it's really sweet. See that, women? Don't turn your backs on ones who just wink at you. Sometimes they're just too shy to make the first move, and it's okay if you do. Well, and I have a member of my family who is about to be back on the market, and she yes. was asking me, like, what... She's not not been single in a very e long time. E-Harmony, for sure. Right. I'm going to yes. tell her to go for E-Harmony because... It's the best one. It's based on, like, the idea of finding a lasting, meaningful relationship to find you someone you're truly compatible with. And, um, you know, because there's a lot of options out there where you can maybe go for a hookup and stuff like that. Because she was asking me, like, about the, all the various sites. And I'm like, you don't want to do a hookup. You want a meaningful relationship. Yes. Um, and right now, our listeners can get a free month with eHarmony when they sign up for a three-month subscription. Just enter our code BRAINCANDY at checkout. Stop waiting and start your journey to a satisfying, meaningful relationship. It can be fun to play around with the online dating apps, but when you're ready to fall in love with someone and have a meaningful relationship, there's one app that's built to bring you real love, eHarmony. Come see how eHarmony can change your life. Go to eHarmony.com and get started. Enter our code BRAINCANDY at checkout. Um, when you were on there, yes, like you had a ton of options oh my God, too. So many hotties. <laughs> they were all. I was like, ugh, I she's don't like even looking know. off into the distance. Yeah. Yep. Yep. How did you choose though? Because if they're all supposed to be compatible, I went on multiple dates. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. I shopped around. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, that's right. I went out with like three or four guys, and it was the first time in my entire life where I was like, I deserve to. Oh. Play the shop the market. Yeah, because I mean, if they're all sakes, compatible, then you can find yeah. the one that's right you for you. Don't go into the clothing store and buy the first pair of jeans you try on. <laughs> no, you try on a few pairs. That's what I did. And now she's got her permanent pair. I do. It's nice. I have my big girl, my mom jeans. <laughs> um, I'm glad we talked about that oral situation. Um, but you know what? The, I've been thinking a lot about. With regards to the laurels that we were just talking about? Yes. I don't like the word panties. I, I hate it. I'm so glad you said that. How have we never talked about this? We probably have. We probably <laughs> have because I, that is easily one of, in my top three least favorite words. Okay. Let's unpack this. I what think it's infantilizing. Exactly. And it sounds like little... Because it's like onesies use, or... Yes, don't add I eat. That makes it sound like a baby thing. And then it's always... I feel like it's often the term used... Yeah, like don't use the little girl terms. Totally, but okay. And then... Let's, let's take it a step further though because ugh, that's really what, what all pet names are. Baby obviously yeah. infantilizes yeah. Babe. um even the word chick like, babe is like hot yeah but it's based on baby yeah but i call my husband babe me too i'm not saying these are wrong right i know but i i feel like it's i'm just saying that there's a culture yes, you're right. You're right. within romance where the woman usually has i like to mix it up and call him babe <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah that's the thing but like chick is also a baby yeah chicken yeah. Um, what are some other names? Honey is not because that's either gender. Yeah, and it's super sweet. <laughs> but yeah, and panties sticky. to me, <laughs> <laughs> panties to me feels like. Why are we still calling them well, that? I hate that. But like, I've I've gone down this road and I played this game. Of right. What do you call it then? I think hey, underwear honey, is fine. Pull off my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay, what do men say if they want oh. you to pull off their underwear? I think they some, sometimes I think they said shorts or briefs. <laughs> <laughs> they do not. So they don't like, they don't ask for you to take off their pants because they just take them off. That's true. I think we have a whole slew of problems I here. Know. It's not just panties, it's a whole thing. No, yeah. What if I? What if we started calling guys oh, God. panties? <laughs> right, like honey, I love your new like, panties. Oh, See how absurd it sounds. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're like, honey, I love your panties. <laughs> Do it tonight <laughs> just to see what happens. Oh, don't think I haven't already put that on the agenda. <laughs> and see if like... Honey, I've washed and folded your panties. <laughs> so great. I can't stop laughing. If you did it, would you think you'd be able to do it with a straight face? Because that's Absolutely critical. <laughs> I can barely get through this conversation. 
conversation with this trip. I can't get I'm through this. I'm going to do it. Okay, you definitely. What if I, I did? did I'll okay. do it to Lincoln just to see if he knows that it's a feminine term. Because he's okay. a good test because he's a kid. Cause yeah. Because they usually like. We can add this to that ways to experimenting um, experiment on your baby. Oh, right. We haven't told them about this. Oh, my God. Because, yes, they're, they're, we discovered there's this weird book. Yes. And it encourages parents to perform experiments, which Sarah has always said she wanted twins because one would be the control group. Yep. yep. And this I book, still do. we need to get the book and I know. try it out. Done. Um, but I'm going to ask Lincoln. I'm going to be like, hey, yep. Link, can you go grab your panties and see what he says? I bet he'll be really confused. Me too. I have two friends who call them chonies because it's like, you know, Spanish for underwear. Yeah. And it sounds like I, yes, but you can use it with men. Oh, really? Doesn't it sound like, yeah, chonies. <laughs> sounds like a little like, That's like fine. a homie. Yeah, right. It doesn't sound gendered. But... Yeah. All right. We'll come up. We have a lot of jobs to do. We have like a lot to investigate. Invent new words. <laughs> we have to come up with names for underwear. This sounds like a lot of work. I'm yeah. not above it, though. Um, I also still don't know oh. a good name for the vagina. Like, pussy, I guess. But the, I have a hard time with that one. Linda is not going to like this yeah, well, whole Linda, episode. Li- <laughs> I have nothing to say to her. What do you... Well, you don't want to call it a vagina, or...? It, it sounds too clinical in the moment. Oh, oh, during... Yeah, okay, okay. like, dick is a nice one. You know what? My friend Steven, he really hates it. When, w- when women refer to it oh. as a dick, he says only cock. Oh, okay, excuse me. He gets two <laughs> really great choices. Yeah. Well, okay, so in the moment, let me think. Nothing sounds good. Ew, no. They just went worse in right. my mind. They get worse. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse the more you try. Yeah, you have to use the P word. I know. Because there's no like, other option. Yeah, I guess that's really it. How about how... And uh, don't anybody tweet to me and say kitty. Who's saying that? I've heard that one thrown around a few times. Kitty? In fact, I think it was in the book, our book club book. Okay. And I was like... She was using... Not Kitty? another... I think it was either her or another BDSM worker, like Dominatrix, referred to... Which, you know, I guess maybe in context is fine. Yeah, they can do whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, they're allowed to do that. But like they're just for regular people. suburban people? Yeah. No, I don't I'm know not. why I'm picturing like... All right. In a cul-de-sac. She's they're probably gonna... the real freaks. Well, that's probably... Swingers! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We've gone off the rails. Totally. Um, Get okay. us back on track. Well, I have a few... None of these are good transitions, but... Mm-hmm. All right. How about how... Did you watch Roseanne? <gasps> yes, I did. What'd you think? Oh, except I didn't... I wasn't able to watch the last 20 minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> so you watched like two thirds? I fell asleep. Oh, really? I was really tired last night. It was so good, Sarah. Yeah. Like, I know that it's controversial. I love the Jackie, Roseanne, different side to the aisle. Me too. Thing. Uh, um, Roxanne Gay did an editorial in the New York Times mm. where she said she can't watch and sh- there's no amount of mental gymnastics she can do to forgive Roseanne for the the politics of the real oh, yeah. person, the actress, Roseanne Barr. Um, and so she won't be watching. For me, I really don't care. Mm-hmm. And I think the show is so, so funny still, and I love that it has both sides. Yeah, I do too. Um, and it's going to be around a while because it got picked up for another season. Oh, good. Because the premiere got 18 million viewers. Whoa! Biggest premiere in ages. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, I mean, well, I watched it after it premiered, but still. Yeah, I, I just think... <sighs> and so- my husband's like, oh, I love Roseanne. Let's watch it. And then we, I pressed play, and he made me rewind it because he missed the beginning. And I, play, I was like, oh my God, do we have a new show? That's when you know, like if Landon, Landon is into me. a female-centered comedy, because mm-hmm. you know how he is. It took me so long to convince <laughs> him that Full Frontal with Samantha B was a good show. Right. So, I mean, so long. I'm still trying to convince him that um, Big Little Lies is a fantastic television show. And he's like... He's not on board. Not on board. Because why is he so hard to convince? For people that don't watch Roseanne, I get it. But it's just for me, it isn't troublesome. I love it, and she cracks me I up. I like a little bit of that. It's the same way. I'm trying to think of another show that I'm okay with. That mm. you know, I'm like, I don't know. There aren't very many out there, to be honest. Yeah, like yeah. whenever the right uh, wing 
people say that the media is biased. I know what that feels like because I used to be a conservative and uh-huh, I felt uh-huh. like the shows all promote like a certain agenda. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm fine with now. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't like it when I was a conservative. I felt like, right, where's my right, voice? Right, right. right. Um, but anyway, yeah, I... it does it in the right way, I think. Yeah. But I was reading this article in The Hollywood Reporter in response to the Roseanne thing um, saying that it's disappointing that there really aren't any black reboots going oh. on. It's like Full House, X-Files, um, Will and Grace. Um, yeah, I love Family Matters. Get that back. Well, that, it actually referred to Family Matters and was like, we get why Steve Urkel doesn't want to come back. But oh, like, yeah, what about point. Martin or <gasps> Living Single? No, that is coming back. Martin is. 100% it is. Okay. Guaranteed. Martin is coming back. Yes. According- Wait, let's do our uh, news. This just in, <laughs> Martin is returning. I know it is. Oh, I wonder I why to- the Hollywood Reporter is really behind on yeah, their Hollywood reporting. I know. Then. I saw it. Um, I have, now I have to look this up. But uh, um, She's Googling people. But I thought that was a really good point, though, because even if that were the case, there isn't a lot of, like... Martin Reboot is on the way, and we can't wait for more Shanene. Okay. Yep. Sarah's right. It's from well, February that's good. 1st. Hopefully that's true. What's up, what's then... up, what's up? <laughs> is that her name, Shanene? Yeah. Wait. That's what the, his character... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. In drag or whatever, yeah. but yeah. yeah. That was funny. Yeah, you know, some few things are going to be a little problematic with that. Totally. <laughs> so, and that's a real problem with a lot of yeah. shows that we grew up with. Yeah. That now it's like, well, mm. uh, Friends is homophobic. Right. And <laughs> transphobic. Totally. And all that Oh, jazz. my gosh. You know, Don't get hey, me started. But it shows how far we've come. Yeah. Mm, kind of. Yeah. I'm still for it. Um, okay. Do you want to hear about Top Sheets? Huh? <laughs> or... H&M's Extra Clothes or the Egg Spoon? Oh, my gosh. Those things that are easy to fold <laughs> or... Let's hear about H&M's Extra Clothes. Well, so people refer to H&M as, you know, fast Disposable fashion. Disposable clothing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, that they... One of the things that made them so successful was that they constantly have new items, it wasn't yes. based on the seasons, which fashion had always been the fall line, the spring line. They didn't do that. They're like, we have new crap this week yeah. and next week and yeah. the, the week after. Yeah. And the problem with that is that if they don't sell stuff, then... They always it, don't sell stuff. What goes on in there? I don't know. I don't go there. Well, I, now I, don't, it just I won't like, go in there anymore either. Well, I'm maybe like you're done. a part of this problem because there is $4 billion worth of clothes and they've actually started burning them for <gasps> energy. What? what? <laughs> that's crazy. How about that? Oh, those polyester sweaters to make them better fuel. Right? Because they were like, how do we use all this stuff without wasting? Burning dead Christmas trees and burning dead Christmas sweaters. Yeah. I get uh, it. Well, one way to avoid that is if you are like us and use Latote. Uh, w- oh, hello. I mean. The best. It is the best clothing service of all time. The Latote basically is a mall that you don't have to go to. <laughs> oh my God. I have a tote bag in the back of my car. I got to drop that off. Yeah. Drop it off. Get new stuff. I know. And it's so fun because you don't have to go in and waste your time. You yes. just, it's all online and you can either pick out what you want to come to you or they could style it for you and you wear it as much as you want. And then uh, they send it back. You can rent up to three hundred dollars worth of clothing from designer ba- brands like BCBG, Max's Area, Nike, Rebecca Minkoff for as low as fifty nine dollars a month. You get a box of fashion delivered right to your door, so you always have something new to wear. I always say, like, if you're someone that fluctuates in size, which a lot of people do, or if you want, are pregnant and you want to try their maternity line and you don't want to invest in a ton of clothes, this is a great option for you. Go to latote.com, that's L-E-T-O-T-E dot com to get started and enter promo code BRAINCANDY at checkout to get 50% off your first month. From there, you'll get your completely customized tote within days. You wear it all and when you're done, return the rest in the mail. They'll start preparing your next tote immediately. You don't have to wait like a lot of places. Again, that's latote.com. Enter your code BRAINCANDY and always have something new to wear. Um... 
Can't, I read on Brain Candy Crush that a lot of people have tried it and really, really like it. And that is so exciting for me because I love when they find... Right, like, when we, they love what we love. Yeah. Yes, it's like when you tell somebody about a movie... And they're like, oh my God, I loved it. And you're like, yes. Yeah. Because so satisfying. Yeah. And this is like that. But anyway, H&M's burning their clothes for <laughs> I can't even. Well, the amount of waste, like I'm all about reusing things now. Oh, okay. Selling old stuff and not throwing it away. You know I'm into that. Hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. One man's trash. Yeah. I just listed a bunch of stuff on eBay and I put on the gown that I wore to the Emmy party because I only wore it once right. and I'm never going to wear it again. Come on, yeah. And it's so beautiful. And it's and like somebody in, will. Yeah. And you know what? I picked up a dress, the dress that I got engaged in. I that looks. I saw that picture of you. eBay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I they were sold out of it in the stores. So I was like, oh my god, I need this dress. So I found one that happened to be for sale on eBay Aww. in the size I wanted. And there you go. So yeah, you know me. Used. I, I do. I try to buy um, used stuff as much as I can. That's not the reason why I like Lato too, because then I don't have to invest in yes. so much stuff. Anyway. Um, okay. I I have a, oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh, my God. oh, my God. It's like when Will and Grace are like, no, you stop it. No, <laughs> no you stop it. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Um, okay. Do you want to yeah. hear about mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. dirty bath toys? Oh, I just read about that. Go oh, ahead. Go okay. ahead. Uh, Dirty bath. Another story about ducklings, but a different kind, real life ones. Okay. Or a man slash robot hybrid. Oh, not that. <gasps> oh, dang. Okay. No, you, you no, 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 it no, should be no, that. No, it shouldn't be that because that one's actually not as exciting as the other ones. Dirty bath toys. Okay. But you read about I this too. I know, but too. they will want to know. That's how Holy I know Holy shit, good. our bath toys are it's disgusting. So okay. So they cut a rubber ducky open. Like any, any t- bath toys you have are basically nest harboring so much disgusting stuff 60 percent of the bath toys that they tested so they had bath toys in the water blah blah blah. they (laughs) for only 11 weeks the bath toys were used and just regular bathing schedule not like they were you know being used like crazy (laughs) and in fact that probably would have cleaned them more Hmm. but (laughs) between five and 75 million bacterial cells per square inch of these bath toys when you cut them open and they were causing things like ear eye and gastrointestinal issues and then you wonder why kids get ear infections a lot i just i was like oh my god it could totally be because of the bath toys it's really a strange thing because when you have a kid it's that age bath time is super fun because like pretty much nothing there's nothing to do with this kid (laughs) and so you're like okay bath time and then it's like a whole production yeah but all of the toys have those holes in them right and the water goes up and then they usually can squirt and it's supposed to be fun but like a lot of why do they all have holes in them to squirt because it's supposed to be playful right but the Oh. But like, there's no way to get all the water out. No. Some moms I know put super glue on the um, That's holes smart. and like seal them. Yeah. But what is the in- toy industry thinking? Well, n- clearly nothing. Sixty <laughs> percent of them carried fungal species, so like species of fungals, fungals, <laughs> fung- f- fungals that ain't so fun. Fungals, fun gals. Right. That is so nasty. I know. And you know I love a bath. Well, but there were, you know, probably from Big Toy who are coming out and saying <laughs> it toy. strengthens the immune system. That is not true. Dirt does. Right. I was like exposed bath to fungus. fungus. I don't know. Black yourself. mold. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> right. Right. Trust Fisher me. Price is paying your, you know, <laughs> for your house in somewhere fancy right it is it's big toy yeah big toy companies all right hold on except the the toys r us guy because he just died oh i know he's like, probably so upset them, oh, that all, the- <laughs> simultaneously like right when he dies all of toys r us and all the babies r us go out of business is that coincidence sad? or like i mean that would be a really sad like you see that and that's the last thing you see of your company before you die He's fine. He was filthy rich his whole yeah. life. It's so nice of you to care. He's a big kid now. <laughs> was that like in the article you read? No, it wasn't. I didn't even read an article about that. That was like a Sarah original. 
Let me think what else. I do have... How about how... I have so much stuff. Oh, go. I mean, so like, sorry. so much. Why are you shy to well, say? Well, remember we were talking about the dirty bath t- toys, and that was like... Dirty bath. I know. It's so funny to say. And that was like a dirty duck. Well, I have another duckling story. Yeah. Did you hear about the man in England who shot the, the no, heron? No. Nope. Okay. So this is, this is one where it just left me like, what? Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So there was a man mm-hmm. who was in some range, like some place where you can have a gun or like a BB gun or some kind of pellet gun. And he saw a heron, which is like a shore bird. Yeah. Drop down, Mm -hmm. eat a duckling. And then in an attempt to save the duckling's life, he shot the heron, (laughs) cuts open his stomach. No. Saves the duckling. Duckling lives. And people are like, this makes no sense. What the fuck, dead heron? How do we even know the story, though? It's real. It's a story that was in newspapers, well, why? in multiple newspapers. How did newspapers. it get in the newspaper? I think somebody caught either caught this on camera or the man, or the, there was a dead bird, and they had to explain why there was a dead bird. So they asked the man, like, why is there a dead bird? And he's like, but I saved the duck. So, What do you think about this idiocy? I think it's it goes down. Remember when we talked about megafauna and minifauna yeah. way back when? Yeah. This is because ducklings are cute. Oh my god! So we want to save the cute thing, even though the other one was higher on the food chain. I also feel the <laughs> same when I watch. Oh, what's that show I love? Planet Earth. And cute, th- cute things get eaten. Yeah, I'm like that's fucked up. You're sad about it. But then when lizards get eaten, I'm like, yeah, that's fucking protein. Eat the eat away. Wow. Yep. Yeah, ducklings are cuter than herons. Yeah, I also cared about the crabs in Planet Earth. That's more they surprising. Were cute. I know. I was surprised by that. No, I'm scared of like any animal <laughs> that can like pinch. Uh huh. Well, you should be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or jump. I r- oh, or scurry. <laughs> <laughs> the, and the word alone. <laughs> yes. If it can scurry, I'm not. Oh my god! That reminds me. My brother told me a story just the other day. About you know how they tell women that you're not supposed to, um, you like mess with kitty litter. You're not supposed to yeah. change a litter box because you can get this thing called oh, I can't remember what. Oh, sort of the T. Mm, I don't remember what. Yeah, it's called, well, but it's I've, real well, bad. it's just pregnant ladies, right? You're not pregnant, right? Well, no, I'm not. Right, but they but pregnant women are not supposed to go near this. But but also, it's not all women, right? No, it's it, they're just more susceptible to getting this like virus or it's like a bacteria or fungus or something like that it's like right when i'm ready to agree then you say the crazy okay thing and no I'm like, but it like it attacks the brain it's a parasite oh yeah the crazy cat lady thing is true y- yes! yes that's yes. what i was getting at thank you it causes that's, mental yes. illness yes that is what i was getting at that is the whole point of my story yes yes and my brother said you can see if you ever see a mouse dart around the room the mouse has it Okay, you lost me. <laughs> no, because like that's a sign because it it in what? it like inhibits fear. Like that's one of the symptoms of this parasitic fungus. Oh, it's totally creepy. But in mice, it inhibits your fear centers, so they're the kind of mice that will dart out in the middle of the room and not be scared of people. And you know when oh. there's that one mouse who Well, what if it's just a uh, No, ad- it's got this disease. <laughs> Normal mice don't do that. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just saying, if you ever see those mice, they're sick. <laughs> That's so good to so know. So are crazy cat ladies. You know what else is good to know? What? Is how to get great skin. I already know the answer. Bioclarity. Also, I brought my bought my brother the whole system. How's it? What does he think? Well, because he came over to my house and he was like, hey, Yeah. Uh, he stole you know, it from you over Christmas, I, I remember. I know. Okay, so he took it for, yeah. over Christmas. And then, now it's been like... Two months, so he's clear. He's out of his supply. Yeah, and so he was like, "Hey, uh, remember that one that face stuff?" And then he said <laughs> he had the audacity of saying, "You gave me." He was like, "You know that face stuff yeah. you gave me that had like that was like yes. the green stuff." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I know yeah. exactly." Step two, step- <laughs> um, he That's step three, uh, step three, yeah. uh, step three. Um, yeah. He so I, he was like, "Oh yeah, that stuff was really calming on my skin." Blah blah blah. So. I finally, I was just like, oh my God, I'm just going to buy it for you. And I told him to go in there and then I got, I like logged in and, you know, you did got the whole the deal. thing. I got the deal and I was so excited. I was like, <laughs> dude, I'm getting this for free. 
And he was so happy. And he, it arrived like yesterday. Well, Sarah's wrong. It's not free, but it feels I mean, like it, it feels is. It feels free. <laughs> so right, BioClarity is our go-to three-step acne wash. If you have problem skin or if you just want to get your skin glowing, it is such a great product because it's soothing. It's non-abrasive. It doesn't create redness or irritation, but it's effective. It helps you clear up your skin. And they have offered our listeners a deal, which is so great. If you go to bioclarity.com, you can get your first month for $9.95. $20 off. Jeezy it's crazy. A $20 savings $20. plus free shipping. And it's a, it's a guaranteed, you know, happiness you will have. What? Why am I talking like that? Probably because I've thrown you off with my enthusiasm. <laughs> I know, I had a whole wash. pitch yeah. going. No, but it's true. And it works on problem skin like mine. Or if you're lucky enough to be blessed with great skin, it keeps your skin glowing and healthy. It's made with all kinds of wonderful ingredients. So go to bioclarity.com and get that deal uh, with our code Brain Candy. That's the thing. That's how you get $20 yeah. off. And you get uh, your first month for nine ninety five. Full size. Full size, nine ninety five with code brain candy. Come on. Bioclarity.com. <laughs> um, it's I mean, like that a different when old. I see it with I my own eyes. T- right. Because it was like, yeah, I mean, I get it. But then I brought it for my brother and I was like, whoa. It's so fun. That was so fun to see that discount go down when you enter that. Oh, Did Lord. you hear about the man who had a subway ticket implanted into his hand? Sarah, where do you read this stuff? I mean, the same new. Okay, no, first it isn't. of all. One out of three stories you had also heard. Okay, true. So but these ones, don't be like, like scratching your head like I'm, you know, getting this from where did you Crazy get it Town then? You News. Where did you get it? CrazyTownNews.com? <laughs> no. What did you say? Probably the Mirror UK. No, it was, yeah. it's a story from Australia, so that wouldn't make sense. But I heard it the first time on my favorite radio show. Oh, um, wait, 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 don't tell me. Yeah. And then I had to, of course, go look it up and okay, find what out happened? if it was real. Let's hear it. Okay. So okay. a man, remember how like many, many episodes we talked about biohacking and how people are like making themselves part robot. Yeah. So this man took his subway card mm-hmm. and there was like just a, a chip on the subway card that you would wave over the subway machine. So he implanted it into his hand and waved it over the machine. It would let him in. No big deal. Then one time he got caught by the attendants, like the people who were working there, and they said, sir, where's your ticket? They thought, I don't know, he was doing something to like fudge the system. Yeah. He ended up getting arrested nope. for not having a ticket he got fined for, and also they fined him for mutilating the ID card. Oh, my God. Right. That's the outrageous part of this story. Yeah, it's like he became too futuristic for so the when, technology let, available. Whenever you put money on that card, you do it online, right? Yeah. And so it's like, you know, you, you go to your bank and you transfer money to you, that card. And so then whenever he implanted it into his skin, then... It had the full balance on it. Yeah. And even if he... And when like he would add more to it, it yeah. was still, oh my God, it's right. actually really... Strange. It's genius. That's what he was saying. He was like, oh, it's no, you know, it's no big deal. I don't know why more people aren't doing this. And it makes total sense. The My... The the part that I have the biggest mm-hmm. problem with mm-hmm. is the man's name, <laughs> which once you hear it, you're going to die. Stop. Are you ready? Okay. Meow, Ludo, Disco, Gamo, Meow, Meow. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's just the guy yes, who like, does guy. crap yeah. for attention. Yeah. See, now I'm not on board anymore. Right. He probably orchestrated also, this whole thing. Also, he covered thing. up with a Mickey Mouse band-aid, so... Mm-mm. Nope. Like when he cut it open. Yeah. No. It says transport of the NSW, which is their transportation industry, does not support the tampering or damaging of <laughs> Opal cards, and which would be a breach of the terms of use. So because he damaged the card, he breached the terms of use, and that was why he got in trouble for it. You know, that... But it seems like I'm the future. I'm angry at everybody. Right. Him for doing that weird stuff, or also for naming himself that, because yeah. that probably wasn't his God-given name. Or his parent. Christian name. His Christian name. <laughs> <laughs> the name his parents gave him, I guess. Wow. Oh. I didn't think I was going to like that story, but I, think, I really did. I know. I, I think you're my favorite... I thought, when I heard it, that your favorite part would be the name. Mm. Yeah, because I'm outraged. Right. It's so annoying. Because that would really like put you over the edge, because you're... Then, uh, that's why I saved it. So I'm like, okay, well. As far as I'll go with names that aren't your birth name, like Ammo, our friend Ammo, uh-huh. I'll do that. Wait, is that not 
Obviously. He's Mormon. <laughs> it's not his real name. Never mind. That's so dumb. I forget what his real first what? name is, yeah. but that was something he chose later, you know, because uh, as his oh, identity yeah. Yeah. became distanted from, uh, yeah. Yeah, distanced yeah, yeah. from the Mormon church, I think that, you know, inspired that too. Mm. You're right. No, I was just thinking of a girl I once did, like when I worked <laughs> in the film industry and I did wardrobe, there was one girl who was a Lakers cheerleader and her name was Moon Safari. For real? For real. She had hippie parents. I mean, that's cool. It was really cool. And she was like one of those girls uh, who you're like... You want to like be her? Hot she's Hot Asian girl with freckles. And she's a cheerleader, but she's like cool and like a hippie and probably smoked tons of pot. Wait, her last name was Safari? Moon Safari. Okay, because she got lucky with that in yeah. the first place. Yeah. Like even if it was Rachel Safari, that would be cool. Because there's Safari in. I bet they changed it. Oh, that makes sense. What? No, like Safarian is a is a popular last name. So it wasn't S A. I bet she had it changed. I mean, I don't freaking know, but that's what she told me her name was, and I was always like, "Wow, you're a fucking badass bitch." <laughs> that's our badass bitch. Speaking of, of, I have a badass. Oh bitch. my god! Tell Hold me. Hold on. Lay let's get me. it. Let's get it prepped here. Girl, badass. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how a couple episodes ago I mentioned that the New York Times was doing the obituaries for forgotten uh-huh, uh-huh, or overlooked uh-huh, uh-huh. women yes. in history? And so they've been highlighting these women. There was a woman named Margaret Abbott who was the first uh, American woman to be an Olympic champion. Oh, cool. And she died without ever knowing because she won the Olympics for golf in 1900. I can't even believe they allowed women to pick up a golf club at those times. Right. Well, she was at... This is why it's so funny, though, because the the Olympics have come a long way. Yeah. And it used to be just sort of this sideshow event at the World Fair where, you, you know, the World Fair was such a big deal. And then this was a sub... The Olympics were? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I know... I didn't even know that. I mean, they have a long history, yeah. But like when but, they really sort of picked up pace, yeah. they were just like a part of the World Fair, and it was kind of loosey goosey. Oh, why don't with we like, watch the World's Fair anymore? It's, it's like more interesting. <laughs> that is so funny that you say that because I often think about it. I they probably still have it, but it used to be this place where they would um, introduce inventions. Now we just wait for Apple to launch a new product, right? Maybe it's just outdated because the media yeah, is available, yeah. but. Mm. She Bad. she just happened to be there, <laughs> and she was like, I know how to play golf. Are and you serious? Serious. Oh, my God. And so she participated in this event and, like, won, and she got, like, a porcelain trophy thing, but didn't know that she was, like, some fancy Olympian. Olympian. Oh, my God. And, like, never really played again, like, wasn't a competitive <laughs> golfer or anything. <laughs> I'm like, she's a badass bitch. She sure is. She should, she would have crushed the challenge. I, <laughs> she's I like, wonder, oh, I can do this. I bet I can crush this. I wonder who taught her to play golf, though. Because like you said, it's not like they could go to... Right. That's what I'm the saying. the thing that people say? <sighs> Gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. That's the one. Yep. And, you know, so women weren't even really right. playing. It was not like a... Uh, acceptable thing. So, may, you know, and I always think, like, what what about those girls who were just naturally inclined and, like, wanted to play, wanted to interact with their physical environment in a way that was sporty. What do you think they did do? I think they were, they did it. But were just... And were just the kind of girls that, like, wore pants. <laughs> right. Yeah. I wish I could, you know, how people say what they would do if they had a time machine. Yeah. And I know some people are like, I wouldn't go anywhere in the past. I would go to the future. Like, No, I'd go to the, I would probably go past. Yeah, future scares the crap out of me. Totally scary. The, the past is also terrifying, but I mean, we what if know. they tried to explain to you a subway chip <laughs> in your arm and you were like, what the fuck is that? I'm out. Right. Do I have to cover it up with a Mickey Mouse Band-Aid? The, t- the past is terrifying too, but we know what happened, so yeah. we can at least avoid the, the traps. Like, you know, being Jewish or a person of color or even having a vagina. <laughs> uh, but I would love to talk to people that were in groups that were are marginalized, like the LGBTQ, LGBT community, but that could pass as... The other 
you know, heterosexual or, like, yeah, or what, yeah, yeah. Cause if you have brown skin, there's no way oh, to really, that's a good point. I mean, of course that's you could really pass if you have lighter skin, but, yeah. and so I would want to know what it's like to just keep that inside oh, your whole life. It'd be awful. And I know that that seems like like a people still do that. It's yeah, not like you have yeah. to go to the past to do that. Yeah. But you really had to do it back yeah. in the day. I was thinking about that when we were talking about the um, visibility of LGBT mm-hmm. members in like history, history books. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and how even just coming out is only a thing because right there's an in. Well, so I was watching Will and Grace, and. They were talking about when Jack came out, when Will came out, and like if their parents were fine with it, and how somebody was telling me that now they don't even have coming out stories. No. I bet that it's just like okay, everybody I know knows that's and nobody what, cares. Yeah, nobody cares. And that's, that's how. It, I mean, that's kind of how I, how it should be. Of course, I know. That's why it's not a big deal. Why I didn't make such a big deal of these people being quote unquote outed. By the history books, yeah, because that's cultural. That's the stigma. The whole yeah. idea of having to do that is yeah. now almost antiquated. Yes, and what a relief! But thank God, this is also like contextual because certain communities, <gasps> right? Thank you, thank you. For Absolutely, sure, I mean, it's still yeah huge. But yeah. you know, like if you're in a big city and you come from a just sort of progressive family, it doesn't really make much difference if you're. Right. I always joke that Lincoln's going to have to pray the straight away. <laughs> and people do not think that's funny. But I, it is. I do. I do. It is funny. Yeah. Um, when I told that to Sergio, the guy that's in the... That yeah, your hair at the, the tanning salon. Who is gay but thinks it's a sin. Yeah. He was horrified. Oh, because that's his worst nightmare. Yeah, he was just like, why would you want that for your son? Because that's so painful. Oh. Why would you want your son to be gay? I'm like, because gay people are awesome. They're the best. By the way, speaking of uh, one of my favorite gays out there in the Brainiac community recommended this really cool book for kids. (laughs) This is a total side note. Yeah, tell me. I bought it. It's called, um, I think, I don't want to get the title wrong, but it's like, have you, how, did you fill up your bucket today or something? And it's about teaching kids kindness. Oh. I am going to find this on my Amazon history so we can say the proper name. And Lincoln loves it. And we talk about like if he filled up a bucket today, whose bucket did he fill up? Because it's about like. That's great. Because you can only fill up your bucket if you fill up someone else's. Like you you can't steal from someone else's bucket or whatever. And if you have kids, let me see what the name is. That's like what I was saying with the drug thing. Like. You can teach kids subtle messages that will have a major impact in ways that you don't even understand. Yeah. And something like a filling up a bucket. Yes. Like the, they get what you're saying. They get the gist of it. And yeah. they can apply it to a million different Yeah, situations. and it says, it's called, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? And it's like, you can tell if you filled someone's bucket because of like, if they smile, you know that you're filling up their bucket. And so like, he... If he sees me smile, he'll say, did I fill up your bucket? You filled it's up so my cute. bucket today. That's nice. You always fill up oh my, my bucket. I mean, even when you're being inappropriate and I know people are going to get mad, <laughs> I am like, that girl makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm so glad. Anyway. I want to just um, make your bucket overflow. This, this sounds so sexual. I know but it, it does. Really <laughs> it does. It was like, what, what were the pants you were talking about last episode? The laurels? Yes. You just... No, that was this episode. <gasps> that was this we took one. a break in the middle to do our live Q and A, but so it feels like two episodes. But the this, laurels, it was just now. You moistened my laurels. <laughs> you <laughs> all of this talk. We're gonna need a dental dam. <laughs> uh, all right, people, don't forget to subscribe and leave us a five star review. We're done. Bye, Flew everyone. Through that. This podcast is brought to you by Wave Podcast Network. Check out all of our shows, including the Brain Candy Podcast, I Don't Get It, Babes and Babies, Coffee Convos, and Let's Talk About It.